Hey guys, I'm back again with another water resistance test. This time it is going to be the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. I'm going to do the same thing. Put this device under water for at least 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, I will remove the device out of water and I will see if the device is still in good condition. Since I started the chronometer, I thought I could see it directly on the other screen, but it doesn't work like that. So I will be opening the device again and start a new chronometer and this time put the device inside water. The Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 has a IP rating of IPX8. IPX8 means that the device is water resistant, but it doesn't support dust or anything that can go inside the hinge mechanism. As soon as the device was submerged, a lot of bubbles appeared, which means that the air is escaping the device. Generally, when you have some bubbles, it means that water has gone inside and the air that was inside the phone has just been released. So far, so good. The Galaxy Z Flip 5 is still working. The inner screen is still functional and the outer screen also is still good. When Samsung is measuring the water resistance of its devices, it is in a laboratory condition which is very different from the real world situation when you drop your device inside the sink. So after 30 minutes, I should have no issues with this device and I should be able to use the device like normally. Before I did this water resistance test, I asked most of my friends, I have a new Galaxy Z Flip 5 and a Fold 5. If I submerge that device, do you think it is going to survive? And they didn't even know if this device had some kind of water resistance because the device is so new and mostly the device can fold in half. On the channel, I did a water resistance test on the Galaxy Z fold 5 and that device survived 30 minutes underwater but the hinge mechanism had a lot of water on the inside and also the speakers were full of water and if you want to know what happened after the 30 minutes of water submersion click the video on the top right you will see what happened with the z fold 5 I can say that the build quality of the Galaxy Z Flip 5 is amazing. It is relatively the same design as the previous Flip devices, but this one is good because the outer screen is bigger. And if you want to take a picture with the main camera, you can use the outer screen and see yourself in the outer screen and never miss the frame while you're taking a video or taking a picture. The way Samsung built the Galaxy Z Flip 5 is essentially a smaller Galaxy Z Fold 5. This is why both devices are IPX8 water resistant and I truly believe Samsung already has the technology and the design in order to make this full IP68. The IP68 is found on all the top smartphones, iPhone, Samsung, I did a water resistance test on the S23 Ultra, it survived and it is still working today. I did also a water resistance test on the S23, it survived and it is still working today also. Simply to say that the IPX8 might not give the same result as the IP68. The Galaxy Z Flip 5 has been submerged for almost 30 minutes with the inner screen fully in contact with water. Is the inner screen going to be still good after I remove the device out of water? We are past 30 minutes but not 31 yet and I think the device should be fine at least 1 or 2 minutes after 30 minutes. IPX8 is 30 minutes only. Beyond 30 minutes, anything that happened to the device is not guaranteed by Samsung. The Z Flip 5 is out of water. As you can see, the screen is still working and I still can see light coming from the inner screen and the touch screen on that also is still working. I do not see any issues yet. With the Galaxy Z Fold 5, after 30 minutes and I waited a little bit after the 30 minutes, the inner screen stopped working. I started to have a lot of ghost touch on the inner screen and the screen started to flicker like crazy and I didn't know what to do at that time. So I simply turned the device off and I waited. As you can see, my Galaxy Z Flip 5 is still responding like normal. There is no issues. The screen is still a little bit slippery because of the water that is still on the screen. And you can see the camera also is working perfectly. I do not see any issues with the phone as of the moment. The other screen is still responding. The power button, the fingerprint reader, and the volume up and down are also responding normally. After any water resistance test, I tend to do something in order to push all the water out of the speakers. Currently I'm playing some water eject sound at maximum volume on this flip 5. This is going to help push all the water out of the speakers. At least it should. I'm saying that because the same thing happened with the Galaxy Z Fold 5. When the sound eject is playing, 
there is no water going out of the speakers. I'm not really sure how the speakers were designed for this device, but it doesn't respond like the other smartphones that I did the water resistance test. They were able to push the water out of the speakers, but for some reason, the Galaxy Z Flip 5 and Fold 5, there is no water coming out of the speakers. At this moment, you may say that there is simply no water inside, but you can see as I shake the device, water suddenly appears. I recommend doing this for any device that you put inside water. You can push almost all the water out of the speakers by shaking the device violently. Be careful if you let the device go out of your hand, you will have to repair it. This is the hinge of the Galaxy Z Flip 5 and you can see water suddenly appeared on that area also after you shake it. If you didn't shake the device, water will stay inside the hinge mechanism area. Maybe it can damage or maybe it is going to simply evaporate. I will let you know the condition of the device in my next video.